Now, let us proceed with the next subtopic on our chapter, which is 5.2 on Scalar Product. The learning objective for today's lesson is to find the direction cosines and direction angles for a non-zero vector. Now, let us look at the direction cosine of a vector. So, given by these three axes, axis x, y, and also z, so if we have a vector a, which is a1, a2, and a3, so if we have this angle, angle of uh, between the x and also the vector is given by alpha, and then this is the angle beta, this one is the angle gamma, alright? So, if A makes angle alpha, beta, and gamma with the positive directions of the x, y, and z axis respectively, then we can see that this is the definition for the direction cosine. So, cos alpha is given by A1 divided by magnitude of A, cos beta is given by A2 divided by magnitude of A, and cos gamma is given by A3 divided by magnitude of A. So these values of cos alpha, cos beta, and cos gamma are called as the direction cosines of a vector OA. Right? And just alpha, beta, and gamma, we call that as the direction angle. So this is different from the angle between two vectors. Okay, so if the angle between two vectors, we label that as theta, but if it's alpha, beta, and gamma, we call that as the direction angle of that vector. Right? So, here's a note over here. If we take cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma, the value is equals to 1. Okay? So, this one is the notation for the direction angle. So, if we just want the alpha, we just have to take cos inverse of the same value of cos alpha and then cos beta and cos gamma, just like what we have over here in this formula. Now, let us look at example number 1. So, for example 1, we are given vector A, negative 4i plus 2j plus k. Now, we need to find the direction cosines of vector A. Alright, so if you recall back, uh, what we have for the formula for the direction cosines is... You need to have, if we have cos alpha equals to A1 divided by magnitude of A. And then we have cos beta equals to A2 divided by magnitude of vector A. And then for cos gamma, we have component A3 divided by magnitude of A. So, if you look closely over here, what we need to have to find our direction cosines is the magnitude of vector A, right? So, let us proceed with our solution. So, first, we will find our magnitude for vector A. So, magnitude for vector A is given by the square root of, so, component A1 is negative 4 squared, okay? And then, plus with 2 squared, plus with 1 squared. So, this is the value for the magnitude of vector A, and that is equals to square root of 21. Right. So, to find the direction cosines, direction cosines of vector A, what we will have is, so, just now, we have our vector A is given by negative 4i plus with 2j plus with k. So, to get to our cosine of alpha, direction cosine of alpha, okay, so we will have A1 divided by magnitude of vector A. So, our A1 over here is negative 4. So, we have negative 4 divided by 21. And the, other, the others will follow. Cos beta, we will take the component A2 divided by magnitude of vector A. So, A2 is 2, then divided by square root of 21. And then, the next one, we have cos gamma. That is given by A3 divided by magnitude A. That is equals to, so the component A3 is the value for K. 
So we have 1 over z21. So this is the solution for us to find the direction cosines of a vector.